Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching or if the game is crashing or if you're receiving this error that is Unity crash error. So the first step is to now dual graphic card user disable the integrated graphic card. Now for this, make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager. Expand display adapter over here. Now, if your computer has a dual graphic card, one is Intel, other is AMD or Nvidia, you can just make a right click on inbuilt graphic card and then you can click on disable device. Once this is disabled, now you can launch the game and then check. This has worked for disabling graphic card has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. So I'm showing for Nvidia. So go to the graphic card website and then select your graphic card over here select your operating system then click on start search the very first driver will be the latest one so you can click on get download and then click on download now and then run this exe file when you run this exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option then click on next put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next after the clean installation, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Now AMD card users, uninstall the current graphic card driver and then restart your computer. Go to AMD website, select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then check. Next step is delete the config files. Now before you delete the config file, create a backup first. All the saved settings will be lost when you delete the config file. Now for this, type in registry editor in Windows search box and then click on registry editor click on yes to allow now over here uh, expand h key current user expand it and then expand software now scroll down and find team cherry folder expand it here you can see the game now when you select the game over here you will see these are config files so create a backup first so make a right click uh, and then click on export over here click on export and then you can name it as backup and then you can set it to desktop you can save it to desktop now click on save now once this is done you can delete this make a right click once the backup is created now you can delete it and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now in future if you want if you want uh, the old backup then you can just make a right click over here and then you can click on or you can go to file over here and then click on import and then you can select backup and then if you want to backup so this will be again but i will delete it because when you launch the game uh, anyway this is going to populate now the next step is to rename the save game files now before you rename the save game files let me inform you all the save game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch to so create a backup first to rename save game files you can go to file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder now open local low folder over here you can see team cherry folder open this here you can see the game folder create a backup you can copy this folder paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can rename this the game will start from scratch when you rename this and now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to set vertical sync to 3d application settings in nvidia control panel make a right click show properties nvidia control panel and once NVIDIA control panel is open, go to manage 3D settings. Go to manage 3D settings, click, click on program settings over here, click on add. And if you see the game over here, select the game from the list. If you don't see the game, you can click on browse and then go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open and select high performance NVIDIA processor over here. Find vertical sync over here set it to use 3d application settings hit apply and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 
now you can launch the game and then check still not working make a right click once again go to properties this time you can type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so make a right click in the game select manage click on browse local files now over here make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work go to properties and then you can go to this tab put a check on the box uh, not over here first of all try to run the game as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the games if that does not work go to properties once again this time select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work change high dpi settings put a check over here put a check over here and then click on ok hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, then click on Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, browse all apps, go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open. And now, launch the game do the same thing with antivirus program allow the game exe file now run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on the game over here select high performance over here and now you can launch the game Still, uh, desktop users connect the display cable or HDMI cable to the dedicated graphic card slot. If you have the Citrix workspace running, close it. Any third party application running, close it. Unplug all the external devices. So, if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disable Steam overlay. Now, for this, make a right on the game, select properties. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. If you have any other overlay application like Discord running, you can go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, you can open NVIDIA app and then you can turn off overlay in NVIDIA app. You can go to settings over here and then turn off this NVIDIA overlay over here. Turn this off. Close all the overlay application. If you do not overclock, if you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Revert Inner, any kind of Overclocking application running, close it. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. If you have undervolted the computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C file. Now, for this, in Google search, you can type in install Visual C file and go to official Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio file. Now, I scroll down, click on x86, run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well and run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once installed you can close this restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel hardware and sound go to power options over here you will see power saver in my case i have only balanced if you see power saver select power saver launch the game you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then check now also um, now type in graphics settings in windows search box go to graphics settings and over here you can see advanced graphics settings so if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is uh, like off you can turn it on and then you can launch the game if this is already on in that case you can turn it off and then check next step is to verify the game file so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory now for this 
type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and go to the first setting under advanced and then go to advanced option click on change over here uncheck this box over here and then select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size over here for initial size 1.5 multiplied total RAM so if you make these changes um, if it doesn't work we can always revert back to default so do not worry about it so for initial size first of all check how much RAM you have so you can open Windows settings and then you can go to system and then you can go to about option and over here in my case it's 16 gigabyte RAM so you have to calculate as per your RAM in my case it's 16 now so 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 I have to convert this to megabyte that is 16384 megabyte multiplied 1.5 and for me, it's 24576, 24576 as per 16 GB RAM. Now for maximum size, 3 multiplied total RAM. 3 total RAM is 16. In my case, 1024 multiplied 3 is 49152. 49152. In my case, then click on set. Set is important. And then click on OK. And then apply OK and then you can launch the game or you can even restart your computer once and then check if that does not work type in view advanced system settings once again and then click on view advanced system settings first setting advanced change select system manage size click on set over here click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart your computer and then check if that does not work we will set it to default you can go to view advanced system settings first settings advance change just put a check over here and set it to default the way it was before now restart you can be here and after the system restart check next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings and then go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart you can be here after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can just uninstall the game now after you uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so the, if the game is installed to c drive like d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel